Okay. Okay. So first things first. Turn that off. Let's fucking go, guys. Enemies have more health and do more damage. Oof. In normal mode, enemies... Let's go on hard. I'm excited for this. You know what I'm not excited for? Why stay earthbound when prosperity that... awaits you in the stars? My webcam is still fucked. The only colony on the edge of the frontier Hold on. owned and operated by corporations. Stop auto exposure. Will feel like rear Apply. There. Access the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity. Oh my god, this load. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny. Choppy. Out of this world to the Halcyon colony. Oh, this is no good. Also, hold up. There we go. The dog game. of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line disgraceful okay this one could twist the marauder's head off You're a block of frozen meat, and I like you already. Okay, we definitely want charm. I'm good with this. Okay. I'm going to put points into someone with the talent for exploiting insecurity. Dialogue and range. We'll put those marksmanship scores to good use. <clears throat> Aptitude. No discernible aptitude. Colonists sounded like a nice entry-level career uh, for a person of your skills. Expanding humanity's reach by civilizing the cosmic frontier was ambitious enough without worrying about your day job. You have the rest of your life to decide how to become useful on Halcyon. 
beverage service technician. All right. Uh, as a human cocktail shaker, you've made concoctions that could end wars or sk fuel skip drives. Still trying to balance the flavors of true of a truly signature old fashioned though. Bureaucrat rank zero. The universe operates in laws, and laws require paperwork. Calcium is no exception. If something isn't stamped, filed, unfiled, referenced, redacted, certified, indexed, and numbered, then it might as well not exist. Birth certificates included. Cashier, subgrade, non <laughs> subgrade, non supervisory. No transaction is finished without a smile. You live for the kachunk of a bit cartridge getting inserted right side up. The redemption of loyalty points and the promise of a good day. Come back soon. Bye bye now. Are more than empty words. They're a promise and a standard you intend on carrying to the frontier. We might go with that for the persuade bonus. So, one thing you guys are going to learn real quick about me if you haven't seen me play a, a RPG like this before is I value the dialogue options over like literally everything else in the game. Because everything else in the game can be usually like cheesed, first of all, uh, especially if it's a Bethesda thing. Holy shit. Um, you can grind stuff out to like get stronger than the stuff you're attacking or whatever. Uh, you can kind of get around that stuff. But usually dialogue options are completely locked behind a number. So, stuff like Persuade, Deception, um, like Diplomacy, any of that sort of stuff, I like to, I rank very high. The other thing I rank very high is things like, um, like, uh, not engineering, what's the other, like hacking and stuff like that, and like lockpicking and stuff to get in places you shouldn't be right away. Engineering dodge. I think what we're gonna I think we're gonna go for the cashier. I can be reasonably sure you know how to add and subtract. Okay. Also I always make a female character. Just the way it is. So the thing I need to know is I need to know if I can get my normal hairstyle. Or if they're all going to be short. Whoa. Yeah, here we go again. Hmm. Well. I wish I could say I was surprised. But I'm not. I guess that's probably the closest thing we're going to go with. Yeah, we can give her facial hair. Makeup. Oh my god. Is there always so many options for features? Yikes.
Dirt. We'll give her a scar. Honestly, sure. Same name as always. I think we're ready to go here. All right, man, let's go. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Kitty, it's okay. Chill. <sighs> Shit. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Okay. Oh, okay. That's just like, am I supposed to do something? Nope. Still in cutscene. Thank God the cutscene stuff worked itself out though i guess it was probably still trying to load some stuff in the background when the first scene was playing which is why that choppiness happened so i'm glad that's over with Oh god, kitty. Oh my god, you idiot. Get down here. Oh. Can you hear me? Is this you fucking working? idiot cat. Jesus Christ, he almost took down my now, TV. Where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm all the colonists are counting on you. Hawthorne 
should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame okay. about the whole squashing thing. All right, let's, to go. let's unplug that first of all. God, fuck you, Shaw. Why the fuck is my internet being all shitty right now? God damn it! Fucking ISP. Hey, buddy. Adrena, while sneaking, use tall grass, blah, blah, blah. Okay. We need to find a weapon of some sort. This is really cool looking so far. Really, really nice looking. I want a gun. Give me a gun. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Okay, medical inhaler. Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. <laughs> oh, wow, that stings. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. <clears throat> How are you feeling? Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Adrena time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, <laughs> what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. What's this about marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics. Hey, that's me. Some oh, not the gun part. Their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. <laughs> I just I talked. The bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. <laughs> I just all talked a guard out of his weaponry. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Anti Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Racist. Do I want to be that guy already? Oh god. He didn't put up a fight or anything. Uh, that, that honestly just felt wrong. 
like, look at the, watch this. That's just not cool. That, that just feels so wrong. Yeah, we can't. Oh. <laughs> what up, Lady B Black Rose? How are you? <laughs> Good lord. Oh, I feel dirty seeing that. I'm good. Oh, what just happened? Have you been playing this game? What in the Tactical time dilation. So this is VATS, I guess. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. TDD. This is VATS, I think, basically. Q. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. How are you liking it? Wow. Good shot, boy. I guess not boy. Damn, dude. You love it? It's playing really good so far. I don't think we're going to make it either, so I'm going to close it after this battle. Oh shit, David, thank you for gifting a subscription to Lady Black Rose. I appreciate it. Lady Black Rose, welcome to our merry band of fuckheads. Now she has to stay forever. Yep, that's the rule. <laughs> you can no longer log off, Lady Black Rose. I'm sorry. We're like an STD that way. Once you're subbed here, you're stuck with us forever. This gun is neat. This is a neat gun. How the hell did I heal myself again? F. Fish sticks. See, Bethesda, why couldn't you just do this? Hacking and picking locks. Okay. You like fish sticks? I am not a fan of fish sticks. Press F to O. <laughs> Zeiss wouldn't hurt a fly and you know it. What a cool looking environment too. So, okay, I'm gonna be real with you guys. The the reason I didn't, I'm the guy who doesn't like, um, Fallout New Vegas, because I don't like the setting. 
And the one thing I was a little bit worried about was, well, is Obsidian just going to make a boring-ass-looking environment? No. they. The answer is no. They didn't. <laughs> they didn't make a boring-ass-looking environment. This is dope. Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed! Hi, Lieutenant Mercer. And Private Kimball. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. So this is a landing violation. Let it go. You out of your mind? No way. Once we've dealt with these marauders, I'm hunting that sick freak down. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Ooh. Do Spacer's Choice Guards back down from a challenge? Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're I'm right. not sure, Extreme. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Um... Let's see if we can find out that information. First of all, UI stuff. Okay. Oh, hello. All I generally need is a 90, and I feel better. Um, key bindings. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any, like, thing to change your camera. So I think it's strictly first person. Thank you, Jillbot. I appreciate it. The fuck is that? Canid? Canid? Okay. Yeah, there's no third person. It's all first person. Lucky, have you uh, been playing this? I guess we're going to go in here. Contains no valuable plunder. Okay. You've been watching people? I see. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. No worries, man. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What are you going to do? Self-destruct? Gesture procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Prepare to reject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. You realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is this Hawthorne's ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne's dead, I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, 
Then you must be Captain Hawthorne. <laughs> Do you understand? Fucking robots, dude. I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive <laughs> reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Gotcha. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High-capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Okay, Please that's good. Not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah, I got it. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Oops. Ooh. All right, chat. How do you guys usually play games like this? What's your go-to stuff? I was saying earlier, I really like me dialogue options. So, I go pretty hard on dialogue. Um, how do I take one away? I actually don't want to. Let's revert all for a second. Let's get that to 35, 33, that's fine. Uh, add one to that. We also need to be able to hack and lockpick a little bit, so. I'm going to dump the rest in there. Ranged and tech. Tech is always good, I think. Yeah. Companion abilities. You can command your companions to use their special abilities on the enemy you're targeting. You have unlocked location hits for tactical time dilation. Hitting enemies in different locations during TDD, TTD, maims or cripples. Okay. TTD is real time vats, by the looks of it. Um, that seems like probably a good way to deal with that. It doesn't look like we get anything real sexy as a tier one perk. Um, carrying capacity might be good. Unlock the ability to fast travel well encumbered. I hate what we're wearing. This is disgusting and disturbing. You generally a murder machine of death and pain. Combat heavy. Okay. So like a soldier build type thing? Like that kind of idea? I think we're going to I think we're going to start with some of that. Can I Okay, there we go. Very good presentation so far. Very, very good. Devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. Okay. So this seems like it's going to be our home base currently. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. <laughs> and if this ship is yours, well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we got to dock your pay. I'm a starship safety inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. <laughs> if you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here. This is why I love dialogue Excuse options, me. by the way. I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Take care. Because it usually unlocks dumb conversation shit like that. Okay. I guess we're going to go that way. 
but we're gonna go a little off the beaten path and see what we can see here mainly damage and tanking did you guys like uh, the fallout games what were your favorite uh, games like this I loved fallout 3 I'm probably one of the few people left that, like, will unabashedly say Fallout 3 is still my favorite. I just love the setting for Fallout 3. Holy shit. I gotta get better at this TDD. You logged Fallout 3 too? My ninja. That's what I'm talking about. You generally do diplomacy. Diplomas there on second and third runs. The navigation console reads offline at this You've time. never played a Fallout game? Well, at some point, I would suggest trying one. Say, I think you would like one. Your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. Fallout One. Ship so here's the thing: Fallout One, Two, and um, Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Brotherhood, I think it's called, are completely different games. Fallout Three and like. The Bethesda fallouts are basically not like old Fallout at all. Oh, by the law. So, I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an they're good CRPGs, but I think there's better CRPGs out there when it comes to those. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to. I actually like the direction they took with Fallout, with Fallout Three specifically. Can I fuck with you guys a moment? I am one of the few that actually doesn't think Fallout 4 is as bad as everybody says it is. It's not good by, like, any stretch of the imagination, but I really don't think it's as bad as some people would like you to believe it is. What the ever-living fuck is this? Well, I am not looking forward to meeting those things. Fallout 3 and later FPS toggle TPS Elder Scrolls. I think Fallout 3 you could toggle it. Yeah. Also, I'm going to throw another opinion at you. I don't think VATS is as bad as people like to pretend it is either. It's a little janky, but I don't think it's that bad, honestly. They're going to try to eat my face, but I need that to live. Dude, Fallout 3 has so much had so much DLC. Fallout 3 had so much DLC. It's ridiculous. <laughs> one of my favorite DLCs for Fallout 3 was the alien one. That they just went crazy and they had like an alien ship and stuff. Alright. On humans, shoot the head. Well, that's obvious, right? Oh, shit. I forgot to do this stuff earlier, too. Again. Shit. Wow, David. Fucking cock-sucking piece of shit. I would ban you, but... I respect you too damn much. Fall 3 is a first person shooter, 100%. Hmm. Forest! Forest in the house. Forest, I'm going to alt tab my game to give you. Expo love for hanging out. There we go. Everybody give Forrest some love. And give love to our new Lady Black Rose uh, sub, too. But don't give love to David, because he's a fucking douchebag. Hehehe. <laughs> 
I gotta stop using my nerf gun. But it's so fun. You know what I do need to do? I'm going to keep forgetting to do this, so give me a second here. All right. You know what? Let's put one in dodge. Oh, at 20, you get the ability to leap dodge forward. What did you get from this stuff? Okay, this is what I want. This is... Uh, I have to pay attention to this. TDD location hit effects. We're going to look into that. Um... And what do these give? That's with handguns. Oh, they're pretty, they're pretty similar. The next big one is 40. That's for scramble duration. 20% chance creatures will become terrified and flee for 10 seconds after you kill one. Let's put it in there. Oh, we should try to get sneak attack unlocked too. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. Perks. Please stop. I feel like I'm going to be alone a lot, so that wouldn't be terrible. I'm a loner, Dottie. A rebel. So much love. What's love got to do? Got to do with it. You're not dead. All right. Oh, whoops, I jumped. I don't know why I jumped in the air. Don't hurt me no mo. You're a lonely boy? Well, stop being so lonely. God. You're never lonely when you're online. That blind effect was pretty dope. Go ahead and blind him. You have a date tomorrow? Congrats, man. 
I hope he puts out. Of course it's not with you, Zeiss. David obviously wants nothing to do with you. <laughs> Oh god. Yeah. Oh does does he live like out in the middle of nowhere? Dice, you never told me you lived out in the middle of nowhere. I don't blame David for not wanting to go out there. Kitty, it's okay. Come here. Come here. I'm making an executive decision. I think this is going to become unwieldy real quickly. So we should go back down to normal. Like a little... Like a little pee. Oh yeah, they're way less bullet spongy on normal. I am ba I am Babby Gamer. Yeah, this is like this is almost too easy. <laughs> now the thing is, is I didn't want to be able to do what I'm doing now. I didn't want to be able to stand there and shoot. <laughs> you know? Because now I can just do this, right? Durr. Nothing can kill me. Yeah, no, I'm still going to get fucked. Did you notice the teeth on those dogs? I don't like that. The horse teeth. I don't like that at all. Hey, buddy. Does it show how many of those I have? Oh, okay, it does. Do I haven't what's Q do? Of course. What's Q do? The one mechanic I've been using the whole time. Fucking normal. Or fucking normie I am. What do we got here? I hear... Nothing can kill me. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, buddy. What the hell was that effect? Yeah, no. I'm actually glad I went down from hard. It's behind the rock. Oh, weird. It auto-saved. Here. So, do these effects only happen? Yeah, I think they only happen when you attack under TTD. I hate these things. Jesus, dude. There's a dino dog behind the rock. <laughs> I 
How do I? Okay, here we go. I want to switch or put a melee on. Shovel. Armor management. Consumables. Okay. Mods. Tool used to pick locks. Okay. Captain identification. And junk that you can sell. Okay. Jill, please. There you are. Oh. Oh, God. Virtual machete lub. All right. Let's put this on. As fucked up as the dino dogs are, it's still these dudes with their, like, assault rifles and shit that are doing the damage, really. You're in Meaty Space Machete Club? Boris, have you ever run Shadowrun? Like, played a Shadowrun game? Always wanted to do Shadowrun. You know a guy who loves Shadowrun? Oh man. Save after I equip the machete. Probably not a bad idea. Well, I didn't alert them. I'm trying to see if I can get one of them to like investigate over here. Right. I forgot I have intimidation. That 20% chance when you kill an enemy to make the others flee? All right. God, I wish there was, like, a fast melee. 
So you owned a machete? Have you ever seen... Oh my god, I don't remember the name of the show now, but there's a show where they forge weaponry. Forged in flames? Forged in fire? Something like this, I think. I love it. I love how characters always shout when they swing a melee weapon. You've seen the show? It is fun. I really like it. It's one of these, like... For anybody who hasn't seen it, you should check it out. It's like a monster. It's like one of those, like, um... It's like Master Chef, but for blacksmithing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that guy is quick on the draw. This is a... Okay. I'm going to have to hide more. I almost feel like they don't want me to be here yet. The melee seems underwhelming. I haven't specced at all into melee either, though. In all fairness... Fuck, dude. I kind of feel like these guys might be currently out of my league. Shouldn't everything be at least decent? I think you're... I, I feel you on this for sure. Marauder Hooligan level 3. So, I mean, they're like one level higher than me. You would think this wouldn't... Where did I get attacked there? You wouldn't think this would be undoable with one level, right? Try hard and min-maxing. Min-maxing what? Before you start spewing your bullshit, maybe you should know what you're talking about. Since you weren't even here at the beginning. Ever think of that? I mean, level 3 is 50% more than level 2. You're just being too rational. <laughs> Does it feel like this is lasting for, like, ever now? Oh, you know why? Because I wasn't taking any actions. I was just moving. Putting different stats into other. Yeah, but I mean, that's why melee feels weird, right? Is because I don't have, like... 
I guess what I'm more disappointed in is the fact that the gunplay isn't better because I have put points into the firearms. It could just be like, do we have a map? This is where they want me to go. Like, obviously. And this is where I went, you know? So this very well just might be a situation of like... Maybe they don't want me here. Wow, that's just good. Sh that's just ace shooting right there. Yeah, it could be. I'm just bad for sure. I'm a little curious about how much damage my pistol does. I wasn't really paying attention to it. Uh, 100 DPS doesn't seem like it would be that bad, right? Theoretically, anyway. I do have a lot of sabers. So what's the difference between these two? Special effect, please. Oh, condition maybe? No, not condition. Spacer's choice. Like... Like, why is this? See that little symbol here? The cell value for this saber is 6.3. This cell value is double. I guess it's like pristine condition because that like diamond thing is on the condition. That's the only thing that's different under condition. Is it maybe that this one like will never go down or something? Shit. I tried going after that guy. All right. Diamond thinks it's in perfect condition. It's worth more to a buyer, which is pretty neat. I think so, too. Maybe I need more armor. Yeah, maybe. Come get me, fucker. I want to see something. Hold on. <laughs> Did I ever change the difficulty? Like, did it save? Can I change it? Uh, 
Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hard mode, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we got an assault rifle now. Who would have thought it was something so simple like that, right? Um, let's put that here. Let's put the assault rifle on too. Okay. You guys, hard mode is very hard. <laughs> but, I think it's one of those things that when you level up more, hard mode will not be that as difficult as it is in the beginning. You can't believe hard mode is hard. Hard mode's not even the hardest mode. Hard mode is the second hardest mode. The other mode has like paragraphs written on it on why you shouldn't choose that mode unless like you really know what you're doing. So if you use weapons with diamond on it, it's condition and in turn selling value goes down. So not actually using the diamond one might be advantageous. Hmm. One is the loneliest number. Oh. I've taken N-Ray damage. The damage bypasses armor, does damage over time. Oh no, not N-Rays. Zero is the happiest number since it's nothing. Well, that's dark. That's super dark. <laughs> Lady Blackrose, if you're still around, how far in the game are you? I'm just curious. I'm assuming nobody else watching right now has been playing. You were thinking Ford because swingers? That seems like it'll kill me, right? Like, we probably shouldn't walk into the electric fence. Oh, Jesus. Fucking jerk robot. You're still on the first planet? Nice. What do you what type of build do you go for, Lady Black Rose? What's your RPG style of choice? These are pretty. Ooh. Yeah, this game was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Delph and dialogue. 
smart. Very smart. Hi, kitty. Me and the kitty are fighting today. He bit me when I was taking a nap and it really hurt. So, I'm not his number one fan currently. Toss ball blocker, a revolver, a light assault rifle. Maybe we should buy some armor. Did I bite him back? No, not quite. I just cried. And wrote a song about how m mad I was at him. Right, kitty? He's mad because we were gone all week. So now he's been acting out since we've been home. Uh, we were in Edmonton for a week. At my parents' house. Dissenters in our midst. The enemy seeks to destroy our way of life. Haste the freedom with Spacer's Choice. I don't have to go into my fridge for cheese. I feel like I should maybe like buy more of whatever it is that picks locks in this game. What the hell was that called again? You like Edmonton? Yeah, it can be okay. Mag pick. I feel like I should f buy two mag picks or something. Ooh, let's hack. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, unlock second story balcony door. Even better. Balcony unlocked. Messages. To R. T Thompson. From L. Gibbs, marketing division. Excellent news. Hey, boss, just want to check up on the new Seltuna Light project. I've been brainstorming some new taglines for the product line. I think some will really catch, will really catch our customers' attention. From Thompson. I appreciate, dear Lawrence, I appreciate your hard work on behalf of a beloved brand, Saltuna. I just received a brand or a response from corporate. They're not interested in your idea of a light version of Saltuna brand because we'd rather not compete with ourselves, but they are interested in the idea of a lighter Saltuna. Effective immediately, we have been instructed to use heavier weighted cans so we can pack them with less Saltuna, thereby saving bits to every can. This is exactly the kind of breakthrough our cannery needs. In fact, our logistics department has just confirmed my request to have you transferred from marketing division to the cannery. Can you imagine, Lawrence? You'll be rubbing elbows with your fellow workers on the canning line, filling each slightly heavier can with slightly less salt tuna hour after hour, day after day. This is a great and tremendous honor for you and for me. Effective immediately, your position in our marking division has been terminated. I expect you to report to our foreman tomorrow morning. Your uniform will be deducted from your pay. Welcome. <sighs> Too real, man. This game is great. It is great. It makes me so angry. <laughs> Ideas for Saltuna light taglines. Melts on your fork, not in your mouth. Less fat with some salt tuna flavor. It's brine time. Ugh. <laughs> That's disgusting. Now with the satisfying crunch of cartilage. Oh, these are terrible. You can't spell salt tuna without salt. No, you also can't spell salt tuna with ants. Potential to market towards families? <laughs> Leading scientists say, it's still food. Saltuna will thank you. Warning may cause auditory hallucinations. We'll add more. Criminal activities. 
Trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are considered illegal activities are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in these. Okay, yep, yeah, that's that's fair. Grab everything that's not uh, nailed down. Sell it in the vending machines. You read my mind, lady. Just wanted to make sure. Ooh. That is a lot of stuff, and it looks like some mods, too. Doesn't look like we can get in there. Okay, sell. So... Uh oh hold Z to sell all junk. Beautiful. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. Your bits 16. Restricted stock. You cannot purchase this restricted stock. Okay, can we hack this? So that I can? Hmm. Okay, there's nothing else doing with that. <clears throat> I wonder, hold on. No, okay. I was wondering if we could like destroy it and take that shit. can open this though if you have high enough hacking you can auto hack or get the option to hack it maybe it probably just actually we could just act literally check what that does So, forty components unlock access to restricted items and vending machines. There it is. That's why. Um, at sixty, when you're adept, you can hack auto mechanicals, turning them off for three seconds. You can uh, at expert auto mechanical detection range is minus thirty percent, and at master, hack auto mechanical distance plus two point five meters. What we actually need is this. So at 20, at novice, doors and containers requiring one mag pick to unlock are free to open. So we won't use mag picks for small stuff anymore. And then, yeah, okay. Okay, I mean, this is all stuff we'll get to, right? We'll unlock it all. I could sell a few machetes. It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea indeed. I think we just picked up somebody's shit. Wouldn't be the first time, am I right? I think we should sleep. If you can sell turds, turds are valuable. True. True enough. Whatever the market di dictates, right? I don't think we want to move time forward just yet. Okay. There's probably a way up there. I just want to make sure it's not in there. I must continue my machete collection. True. This is probably the way up there. 
Hmm. 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 Right. Well, we got more elite hacking materials here. Nothing bad will happen, I swear. Oh, it feels so close, but so far. I guess we can go into Edgewater, Edgewater and do something silly like, you know, play the game properly. F it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. I'm excited. Follow the yellow track road. Also, I'm sorry to say, Zeiss, we're probably going to lose this battle. Let's, um, let's get this over with. All right. Let's get this over with. Cause I'm going to close it after. Yep. The, all those bombers, dude. Yeah. There is no way. All right. GG. GG. Okay. Let's take a look around, shall we? Hey, you hear about Wilson? Heard Marauders got him. Just between us, Wilson deserted. Lost his nerve. Ran off in the thick of nothing. Saltuna Cannery. All right. I mean, we obviously have to steal, first of all, and then hack, right? Oh, we don't even have to hack it. It's just on. Progress at as poggers, but spelled wrong. <laughs> the Edgewater Saltuna Canyon facility certainly adheres to Spacer's Choice standards, health and safety. Schedule your sick leave with your Spacer Choice foreman and or supervisor. Be considered towards other members of Spacer Choice family. Allow two to four weeks to process and approve your scheduled, sec uh, scheduled sick leave. Lost hours must be compensated to the company. See Reed if you're having trouble paying for your sick leave. We'll try to arrange wage dedu deductions instead. Remember, work invigorates the spirit. Sickness in the body reflects sickness in the mind and sickness in the character. If you find yourself falling ill, it may be time to schedule a meeting with our local vicar. Vending machine discovered. Oh. Out of stock. Okay. I think you're right about selling off a bunch of shit. I think that's something I'm definitely considering doing. In fact, I'm going to forget about it if I don't do it like right now. So I'm going to do it right now. Sell. Uh, oh, E. I want to keep these just around to try them out, so I'm going to keep those for now. Let's sell my stuff. Got my 
it'll make you you're safer inside the walls. It's Sprat. Did I sell the turd? Ooh, good call. I'm curious how much a turd is worth. Maybe it wasn't a turd. It was like bread or something. <laughs> Close enough. I can sell sprat hides though. Looks up self-worth. Right, it's just a turd waiting to be born. That's deep, man. Deep. Uh, go ahead and close that. Because we're going to get to some illegal activities up in here. Foreman Phyllis Granger. Welcome, Phyllis Granger. Phyllis, owing to your hard work and positive attitude, I've sanctioned your access to medical treatment in the event of contagion. As you know, the company has not provided us with enough medicine to treat every worker. I wish I could treat every member of the Spacer's Choice family who fell ill to this plague, but I cannot. Medical privileges are strictly merit-based. Please do not, under any circumstances, distribute your ration of medication to any other worker. We're all in this together. Personal files. Well, let's hack. Password Tenderfoot. Personal files. Last entry. Theodore buried last night. Reed asked me not to report his death to our quarterly. Sounds fair to me. Was asked to prepare a statement or something for the other workers. Been thinking about it. Don't know what to tell them. Don't end up like Theodore. Do your work. Show up. Wear a smile. You'll get your medical privileges. It's a start? Oh. Well, this is going to be one of those games where I'm sure we've all worked in a place with uh, situations that maybe we didn't like. <laughs> you the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. I'm guessing you're the foreman. Foreman Granger, mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. I know I shouldn't shoot her, but I really hate when NPCs sass me. But I really want to shoot her. I shouldn't shoot her. I need one more to pack that, or to get that. Follow her to her office, close the door, then shoot her. I'm assuming, wait, can I push her? Damn. I didn't know he was right there.
shit. I thought I killed her. Oh god. I can't move her body. Nothing weird going on here. Hey, buddy. You see the game last week? <laughs> I'm gonna go back to work now. From the office of Reed Thompson, Outpost Administrator. Symptoms of infection have now reached a critical mass. We've instructed our staff to transform the old domicile into a sick house. Plague is a reality of life on the frontier, and as spacers, we're expected to force or face up to reality. And the reality is that we do not carry enough medicine to treat all of you. Medical treatment is a privilege, not a right. We must strive every day to demonstrate our worth worthiness of that privilege. If you find yourself suffering the symptoms of incipient plague, best thing you can do for yourself and for your family is to don your jumpers and come to work. Work fortifies the spirit. Physical illness recap recapitit recapitulates it. I don't think I've ever read that word. Or illness recapitulates uh, spiritual weakness. Interesting. Also, are we not going to get caught? Recapitulates, I guess, would probably be more proper. I think we got away with it. Dope. Oh, God. <sighs> he had a jeweled ring and everything. I'm starting to think murder wasn't worth it, you guys. You probably had a family. <sighs> they were going to die eventually. Yeah. These are the things we tell ourselves when we know we were wrong. To summarize, eh? Let's put the knife away. Lost and found. Found. One left hand severed at the wrist. Some bone damage. People, this is our second unscheduled amputation in as many months. Please exercise caution and safety around machinery. Maintenance fees will be deducted from your pay. That's capitalism, baby. Oh. This is stuff that people will get mad at me for. Let's close that while we steal shit, shall we? In space, no one can hear injustices.
Mm. I'm not usually this much of a murder hobo. But things just got a little weird, you know? First of all, she was sassing me. Also, I have... So, this is like real talk. I have real problem with like authority <laughs> figures. Um... And... She triggered me. <laughs> so, she was going to die. And then... The guard... The guard just started punching me, so he had to die, but I didn't want to kill him. That one felt bad. Well, that doesn't seem good. Disengage power regulator. Unable to comply, the power regulator unit may not be disengaged while the transformer is active. Transformer shutdown. Transformer shutdown protocol is non operational. Shutdown protocols. In compliance with space choice engineering and development policies, shutdown protocols have been disabled on all transformers. This is to prevent illegal tampering, upgrading, or theft of proprietary technology. Please avoid attempting to modify or tamper with Space Choice Electrical Transformer while power is active. Doing so may lead to death, catastrophic injury, and irreparable damage to the Transformer. The Emerald Vale region is powered by Spacer's Choice Geothermal Facility. Spacer's Choice is proud to bring the colonists of Halcyon moderately innovative technology at a reasonable price. Spacer's Choice the best you can afford. Okay, so here's the thing. I feel I need to clarify what I said. The fact that, like, somebody is the boss of something doesn't make me automatically hate them. When people tell me what I need to do, that's when I have a problem with them. When people say, you have to do this or whatever, that that's a no-go. That's the perfect way to make me not like you. Okay, I want to see what that did. I want in this room. Oh no. This is actually going to just cause a whole bunch of shit. All right. It's just going to cause fucking NPC after NPC after NPC. Fuck it. It's not even worth it. Can I pickpocket you? Hello, I am 3D Homer. How are you? I don't think I, even though I like read all this stuff, I want to make sure that it's like logged or something, you know? That's also the problem with going murder hobo in these games is that it just turns you into an enemy of the state and like... You just can't do anything in peace anymore. And you lose out on some cool quests because NPCs, like, hate you. It's fucked up. Like, it's so not worth doing. It really, like, hamstrings you. I'm sorry. I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the threats, friend. I'm going. Boss's orders. We all got quotas to make. Saw two movies. Holy crap, you had a hell of a day, Homer. Hey, you don't work tomorrow, do you? 
Somebody once told me. Hi. I've got some time. Okay. What do you do here? Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Okay. Kind of weird that she has nothing else. I bet she's part of a quest line or something. Almost lost a finger in the cannery today. Nothing I can do about that. Staying long? Staying long? Spacer's Choice takes care of its own. Constable Reyes. All right, then. Cheryl Bite, what do you have to say? I kind of want to steal it. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in frontier justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. I'm looking for work. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. I got some questions. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. The acceptable margins of curiosity. What does the name Phineas Well or does the name Phineas Wells mean anything to you? His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? He's a scientist. We're, that's too much information. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Looks like there's a bounty on his head. You're correct. An outstanding bounty has been posted for information pertaining to the whereabouts of Phineas B. Wells. If the board's paying, I'm willing to collect on that bounty. Unfortunately, the arrest of Mr. Wells falls outside my authority. I enforce the company policy as Spacer's Choice in the region of Emerald Vale. Wells is wanted by the board. If you have information related to the location of Phineas B. Wells, you are required to submit that information to your nearest board authority. All right, so who do I have to talk to? Any information regarding outstanding bounties and wanted criminals should be directed to Mr. Udom Bedford. Mr. Bedford's office is located on the Groundbreaker. Groundbreaker? Halcyon's original colony ship now repurposed into a space station. Mr. Udom Bedford represents the board's interest on the Groundbreaker. Something else I can do for you? I guess that's it. Bounty records. Open bounties. Hey, Tenmar, thank you for the host, man. I appreciate it. How was your stream? Raw mammon? <laughs> Somebody once told me. I just want to play the game right now, all right? I'm going to go find things to shoot. Oh, is there something in here still for me? Okay. You beat Earth Defense Force Iron Rain? Nice, man. I got a code for that last week, so I'm going to play that at some point soon. The grease monkey, Argo. I'm sorry. Seems we've got a guest. Oh. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. It's this guy. This guy's a piece of garbage. All right. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Told you, piece of garbage. I think you have the wrong idea about me. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. 
A ship needs repairs, looking for a power regulator. The only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Okay. Let's hear it. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator mostly. and be along on your way. When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. <sighs> sure, I've been to a big city before. I get it. Tell me what I need to do. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. So, we're going to take this guy's power converter and take this town down. You guys, you with me? Solidarity and all that? I think that's what we're doing. I'll see what I can do to help My you. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all. Oh, she's so cute. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb. But I cannot deny that she is talented. <laughs> Schmelly York. Murder them all. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine. And trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Sure. Could use the what? company. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you. And thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Thompson, I've done some reading on you. Parvati is adorable. She is adorable. She is a lovely flower that deserves all the best in the world, and we will not let her down, okay? Okay. Let's, uh... Let's get some stuff done here. I really feel like I need to get my combat up more. But stealth is too good. Actually, we need to get stealth to 20. Because sneak attack damage is going to help so much. So, okay. Stealth is to 20. Uh, That, yeah, I mean, that we don't get anything from that yet. And doors, okay, that's also very good. So we have six more to do. What do we get from medical? Oh, those sound good too. These are all companion ability stuff. Okay, I'm not too keen on the companion ability stuff yet. I kind of just want that at like... Mm, no, revert that. I feel like not having any defense is going to really screw me. Uh, we should go with some gun stuff now, though. I think. Okay. I'm good with this. So. All that's allocated. Alright, man. Sounds good. Thank you again for the host, and try to have uh, as much of a good day as you can. Take care. All right, Parvi, let's go.
Let's go, baby girl. Hey, congrats, Elmer. You're a regular. How does it feel? A regular pizza garbage. <laughs> hey, man. Jokes. Can we talk? Yes, Sorry. absolutely. Hi. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. No, he sucks, dude. I know. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just... He doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. I can't I can't blame anybody wanting to leave. This town's got issues. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big spacer's choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Where do I find him? The mission's on the east side of town. East side. Don't miss it. On account of it being the only clean thing. Okay. We'll stop by. Thanks, ma'am. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. All right, Forrest. Thank you for hanging out as always. I appreciate it. Good night, good night. You will definitely see me on the Discord. That is true. All right, Extreme. Thanks for hanging out, man. I appreciate it as well. Don't be a stranger. Hang out whenever you feel. Okay. So now we're back in the real world. I wish the real world would just stop hassling me. Come on, girl. Well, we have a quest marker just right over here. Give me your sprat hide. If, oh, we should go talk to the vicar, of course. But of course. Yeah, this seems like probably the right place. Weird in here. It's too green. Hi. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar DeSoto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, 
this season's toss ball predictions the quickest way out of town Parvati wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do um how did you mm, how did you know I'm an outsider not to put too fine a point on it, but your choice of wardrobe is not precisely common hereabouts. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy, like a trapped animal. Pretty universal here. Except for Ms. Holcomb, who, for some reason, doesn't seem to have much to say to me. Isn't that right? It's just... there's more to it all than numbers. Sorry. Maybe it's because you're so dismissive, quite inappropriate for a vicar, isn't it? Oh, nothing could be further from the truth. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. Sounds like you're terrible at your job, vicar. No, I am not. <laughs> Though there is something to your accusation. It is wrong for me to succumb to distress. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. Parvati wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. What? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Cut off power to the Adelaide's deserters. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. I'm not terrible. Well, okay, I am. <laughs> yeah. So what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. And why is that? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. A handsome sum, you say? Tell me more. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Why would a vicar be after a banned heretical book? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. Aha. Uh -huh. Seems the authorities would be interested. No, I'm not going to push him on that. I don't trust this guy either. Everybody in this town sucks. Okay. I'll need to li know a little bit more about this book before I agree. It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value, should they ever read it. Hmm. I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Well, at least he's wearing pants, you know? Hey, 
Hey there, Mary. Don't see you around here too often. Oh. All right. Back out into the wild yonder. I'm not terrible. Well, okay, I am. Easiest debate of my life, son. Here they come. Wait, what? Did I, sh Did I shoot her leg by accident? Oops. There's definitely more something down there. Incoming. Oh, those are bad. All right. I'm assuming that's death down there. Homer, do you have no interest in this game? Like for yourself to play? Just curious. Damn, girl. Oh, thank God. Oh, wait. Was that my... Was that her that exploded? I see. Ew, that manta pillar is fucking disgusting. I really don't like that. That's cursed as fuck. Don't know whose place this is, but hope they don't mind that I'm ransacking it here. I haven't heard anything bad about it yet. Everybody that's played it so far has said that it's very good. And you know what? I'm going to join them in the chorus, I think. So far, I'm very impressed. It's nice to have a Fallout-ish game again, you know? Considering Bethesda can't fucking do it, apparently. These dino dogs, though? I don't know about them. Mythology log, terror ray, P terror ray, mating habits, uh, Kane Van Acker, Spacer's Choice, Ethologist, uh, assigned to Terra 2 this week, I've decided to study terror ray, uh, mating habits, female terror rays leave their nesting area, 
in the morning, return in the afternoon with random objects, typically something shiny or bright. Then they build displays with the objects and perform what I can only describe as a dance for the, an audience of males. If a male likes what he sees, the two go off and nest together in one of the nearby trees. Gerald, if you're reading this, I'm done waiting for you. Collect my things. Meet me at the next site. Don't be late. I expect punctuality from my assistants. Oh, well, that's... That's no good. Oh, she did all the work there. A yearly subscription for follow. I know, dude. I I can't believe it. Can you believe that shit? Can you believe the audacity they have? It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. To ask people for more money. <laughs> There is something in here. All right. Oh, hi. Yeah. Huh? I noticed you mentioned your dad a lot, but never your mother. Really? That's on account of how I never met her. How's that possible? She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months sorting mechanical computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not. Belonged to her office from the time of conception. That's so, so fucked up. Born, I got sent here. God, that's so fucked up. That's inhuman. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. You mentioned something earlier I wanted to ask you about. You mean about the mission being too clean? Isn't it supposed to be clean? It's a church. I know, but Vicar says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one that ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. You're a mechanic. Whenever you see a machine, it's in need of fixing. Or then why do you want to talk to him? Vicar's about the only soul in the veil who spends his time thinking on what is and ain't right. It's just that when he looks at me, I feel I disappoint him. Okay, let's go back to it. So have you been playing this game, Shmelly Orc? And if so, are you a fan of it? Are you a fan of the Fallout stuff? You can't raise kids on math. True. You haven't played it, planning, waiting for, for buying it. What are you thinking of playing it on? Because if you're thinking of playing it on PC, 
may I make a recommendation of picking up Game Pass for PC, which this is on for like eight bucks for the month. And then you can uh, just not get another month if you're done with the game or get another month or whatever. Because that's what I am doing currently. So that is my recommendation. I was in here yesterday. I was not in here yesterday. Okay, let's look around in here. Personal terminal for Clement Eldridge. Eldridge? Eldridge. From Jay Bartell, your theories. Clement, I must. I find I must disagree with your theories about Earth's di directorate's place in the colonial system. Sadly, as much as I appreciate the board and new frontier they've opened for us, I believe Halcyon and other colonies on the rim of the galaxy would fall to pieces or war amongst themselves if Earth di uh, directorate wasn't around to regulate trade and settle disputes. Do you think the corporations would accept mandated incursion of an Earth minister if they had the choice on if they had a choice on the matter? Jefferson, of course I'd never dispute that Earth is the heart of the whole colonial system, but the real adventure and independent spirit upon which humankind truly thrives is to be found here among the furthest colonies. I still think you're wrong about the history though. The discovery of the skip drive was not what gave the Earth Directorate power over the corporations. The high cost of the Great War left them in a weakened state, and the skip drive was simply the extra leverage the Directorate needed to return to power. Interesting. So companies... The companies did end up ruling everything until the Great War left them all broke, basically. And then, weirdly enough, like, a government formed again. Kind of an interesting idea. That companies did rule everything, a la, like, Shadowrun, basically. And then lost power, based all their power. Or at least enough of their power, I suppose, if not all of it. <clears throat> A hunting rifle. Yeah, you know I gotta take a look at that. Okay. <clears throat> Primal nest discovered. Right, here we go. The companion attacks or whatever are kind of neat. Do not kill my girl, you son of a- Does she come back alive? Oh, thank God. <sighs> I was gonna restart from last save. I will not allow our sweet little cupcake to die. Where are we headed? Whoops. Holy shit. They perma die on uh, Supernova. Are you playing on Supernova? That seems 
crazy to me to play on that difficult. After seeing what hard mode gives you, that seems crazy. Like the crazy mode to play on. Whoops. Damn, lady, you are playing on the supernova difficulty? Jeez. Fucking mad props, man. Lady Black Rose, you are crazy. You are a crazy person. I respect the hell out of it. No such thing as crazy. Pickaxe. Actually, there's a bunch of crap in there. Nice. Hey girl. So I'm dazed? You know who she reminds me of? Have any of you guys ever seen Firefly? Jewel State's character? I can't remember her name. Kaylee, I think? That's who she reminds me of. Community center. Take a look in here, shall we? Well, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> 